What's up guys, welcome back to SJTV. In today's video, it's going to be a video I've wanted to do for a long time, but I wanted to wait until I come back to university, settled in nicely to do this video. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So as you would have guessed by the title, today's video is about what supplements you should bring to university and why. Now let me give you guys a little bit of a disclaimer. I am not a fully qualified personal trainer as of yet and everything I say in this video is my opinion and everything I do just based on the budget that I have at the time. So as I say guys, let's get right into it. So to make it nice and easy guys, I'm going to tell you why I have these supplements in the first place and what I buy depending on my budget. So here is everything I have that's even remotely supplement related. So here is BCAAs, pre-workout, protein, creatine, fish oils and muscle mousses and added extra as well. I'm going to present them to you in the order that I would normally buy them in, prioritise again depending on my budget. So let's start off number one protein. Everybody knows the benefits of protein. It should be top of your list in my opinion because it's what helps you rebuild those muscle fibers and make gains quicker. Another massive benefit of protein is helping you hit your protein macronutrient goal for the day. Some people aim to hit 200 plus grams of protein every single day. Now guys that's a hell of a lot of chicken. An easy alternative is to drink a protein shake. There's 20 grams of protein in this and so all you do is just add it to some water or some milk whichever you prefer. You guys know how protein works. I don't need to tell you how to drink a protein shake. In my opinion this is top of the list. Number one that you should prioritize as your base supplement because protein is going to help you reach your protein goals. As well as that, it can be relatively inexpensive. This one kilogram bag costs around 15 pounds from my protein, so I'll link them down below if you are interested in getting any protein or any other supplements for that matter from my protein. So moving on to my second most important, and that would be creatine. There are a few different types of creatine. The most researched is creatine monohydrate. That is exactly what this is. It is the cheapest supplement, in my opinion, out there that is gonna get you the most benefit. So for those of you who don't know what creatine does, all it does is increase the ATP in the muscles. Long story short, let me simplify that for you guys. All that means is it gives you that extra burst of energy which helps you bash out another couple of reps in the gym. Obviously, it helps you with your endurance because you have extra energy stores which allows you to make more gains in a shorter time. And my favourite thing about this supplement is how cheap it is. This thing has 88 servings. So if you take creatine every day for 88 days, which is what you have to do, take 3 to 5 grams if you're a male every single day, which is the size of the scoop, which is great. And you have to build up the creatine stores in your body. It won't just work like a pre-workout. You can't just click and it will work. You have to take it over time and over the course of a couple of weeks or so, you'll start to see the benefits from the creatine. My favourite thing about this supplement as well, I don't even think I've said it yet, is that this costs £8 for 88 servings. So that's 88 days worth of creatine, which is nearly three months worth of creatine guys for eight pound this entire tub was and this wasn't even the cheapest one there was one which was even cheaper than this a bigger tub which i just didn't want because i'm only trying creatine out but creatine has been it's the most researched supplement out there and it does work guys creatine does work next up for me guys would be these here fish oils and that is because as a student fish can be quite expensive i don't always have the budget i don't always have the money to buy fish to buy fresh salmon all that kind of stuff that has these fish oils in them your body actually can't produce epa and dha which is in these fish oils let me tell you the reason why i love these so much is because i have crap joints my joints, my muscles, they get achy, I get horrible pains in my muscles. These fish oils, they have really well-known health benefits in terms of lubrication in the joint. And so with a person a person like me, who struggles with joint, joint achiness, joint, you know, it just feels tender, taking these tablets can actually help and they come at a great price as well. I've got these tablets, which is 200 soft gels in here, what, that would last me 100 days, I take two days, uh, I take two a day, sorry. And so that would that would be almost three months worth of tablets. This costs eight pound. You can get them even cheaper. I bought this from a local shop because I like supporting local businesses. But at the same time, you can get them off Amazon, which would be the dream. You can get a tub for like six pound with 300 gels in. So that is why it would be number three for me on my list. I take two a day and have definitely noticed a difference in terms of my, how my joints feel since I've started taking them. Next up would be something that you would think would be higher up the list and that would be my pre-workout. At the minute I'm using this my pre, 30 servings in this, 25 pound for the entire tub. So that is less than one pound for each drink. You don't have to use my pre guys, especially in my case if you don't drink any tea, any coffee, so you don't get a lot of caffeine. You're not gonna have to have a lot of caffeine in order for you to get that energy boost that you need. And the, that's why you take pre-workout, isn't it? For that energy boost, for that focus boost, for all those kind of things. The effects that you get from pre-workout are just really good. And actually, if you can find a relatively cheap price one, I've never, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I've never bought a tub of pre-workout. They've always been bought for me as a gift 
And so this was actually bought for me by a family member of mine. And so thank you if you're watching this video. One thing I will say about pre-workout is you don't want to become reliant on it. You want to use it as a supplement to help you in your training. So when I was on a cut over the summer, I used pre-workout quite a lot because I was drained, I'd been working all day and I'd have to come home and I'd have to train, I'd just be, have no energy. So this little caffeine boost, this little energy focus boost would actually help me a lot in terms of getting me through my training, burning those extra calories in order for me to get my weight down again. But as I say guys, if you're like me, you don't drink a lot of tea, a lot of coffee, you don't have any energy drinks, all those kind of things, then you can use pretty much any brand and have pretty much the same effect because at the end of the day, they have a similar goal, similar outcomes from the supplement. So the reason that this is behind Behind something like protein and creatine is that you don't need this supplement people you shouldn't rely on pre-workout people don't need pre-workout if you just want the supplement then you can get it you can get the added effects of the mental focus the endurance all the kind of things that pre-workout is guaranteed to give you but it is not essential and so that is why it's lower down the order however I will put it higher up the order than something like BCAAs because that is an added thing that is going to be not quite as effective for most people as it would be for some. Next one would be number five, last but not least, on the supplement side of things, BCAAs. Now, I'm going to be honest with you guys, the only reason I have this is because I got it for £5 from the Body Power Expo. I was at the dedicated booth, which is the brand of this BCAAs, and they had a wheel where you could spin you could spin it, you could win a t-shirt, other supplements, but I happened to come out with this BCAA tub, so I only paid £5 for the entire tub. But it is a relatively cheap supplement, it is £15 for the tub, and how many, how many servings are in this? 30, 30 servings in this tub of BCAAs. So, if you don't know what BCAAs are, in a nutshell, they're going to help your body absorb the limited amount of protein that you get. So people tend to use BCAAs when they're on a cut, and if you deep into a cut, let's say a competition prep, you're not getting a lot of calories, and so you not getting as much protein probably not as much as your body needs and so so it doesn't start to burn into that muscle you take these BCAAs which stands for branch chain amino acids and all it does is help your body absorb the amount of protein that you're taking in a lot easier but as I say it does just help you absorb as much protein as possible as easily as possible helping you retain as much muscle as possible while on a cut so that is why that is number five because it is not as essential as other things for example like the protein because if you can see what I mean it would be pointless taking the BCAAs if you're not taking any protein supplements or having as much protein in your diet anyway. So you've just got to weigh out your options, but this is the order that I would have them in. So I'm not saying that this is the order you should buy them in, this is just how I prioritize it for myself. So, last but not least, let's talk about my favorite dessert in the entire world, Muscle Moose. This has 30 grams of protein. Bear in mind that this protein, this protein shake, dedicated protein shake, has 20 grams. This has 30 grams and it's a pudding. It tastes like mousse. This is the chocolate flavor, right? There's 1.1 grams of fat and only eight grams of carbs in the entire thing. There's about 180 calories, 30 grams of protein, 1.1 grams of fat. There's absolutely nothing in this except protein goodness. This is a guilt-free dessert. I put this last on the list at number six because it's not an essential by any means. It's just, it's just something that you can have to treat yourself. I have this maybe every two or three days or so. Just shake it up in a shaker, pour it into a glass and put it in the fridge. Simple as that, guys. I got two of these from the Body Power Expo for £30. There's about 20 scoops in each. And so with this kind of thing, you can make it last as long as you want. But obviously, bear in mind the sell-by date you don't want to waste your muscle mousse. If you haven't seen my review of this product, I've got this flavour and a strawberry flavour as well. I'll link it in the description down below. So be sure to go and check that out. It's just a little tutorial, little review, personal experiences of mine to do with muscle mousse. So that is it for today's video, guys. Hopefully it was beneficial for some of you students out there. Maybe even beneficial for some of you who aren't students who are just interested in supplements. Buying your own. Maybe want to see what to prioritise first. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, let me know by leaving a like, comment and subscribe for loads more good videos. Now I'm back at university. Remember guys no regrets i'll see you guys in the next video